Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Thursday, June 13th, 2019. Free pick coming up along with a return to our NFL thumbnail sketches. We're going to talk about the NFC South, starting with tonight's thumbnail sketch that's coming up in a minute. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member, DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or any other capper over there on the site for that matter. Again, Again, free $60 account. Get yourself signed up. Click on the link below the video. I think you'll be happy that you did. All right, last night, six-unit winner for us with the under in Game 7 in the NHL. It looked like an under all the way. We almost got beat by an empty netter in the final minute, but the under was the right play, and it cashed. And we're very happy about that. And congrats to everybody who had the St. Louis Blues, including the dude who made a $400 bet and won 100000 He made that bet, of course, from St. Louis. He makes the bet way back in, what was it, December or something when the team Team. Looked like they wouldn't even make the postseason. Cashed 100000 said he never hedged. Hats off to him for sticking to his guns. But again, wanted to say thanks to those of you who jumped on board with the NHL with us this season. Our first full season in the NHL at DocSports.com. We appreciate it. We're glad we could finish up strong with a six-unit win on the under. We also cashed in baseball. We had one play yesterday. It was the Cubs. Easy win on the road over the Rockies 10-1. to And in WNBA, unfortunately, we ended up 2-1 and with premium picks as we lost last night with Minnesota in the WNBA. Got to get back in the win column also with the free picks. We had a 6-0, six 6-8 six run going into last night. It took 14 innings, but we fell to defeat, had the six-game win streak snapped when Milwaukee beat Houston again in 14 innings. We'll look to get right back in the win column with the free pick coming up in Thursday's baseball. But here's what's going on Thursday for me. A lot to talk about. NBA, of course, the finals head back to the Bay Area. Game 6. We're 3-2 and two so far in these finals. How about 45-25 and 25 with our last 70 NBA Finals plays, 44 and 27 with our last 71 NBA plays this season over the past oh, two or three months now over at DocSports.com. I've got a big slam dunk rated play, the side between the Raptors and the Warriors. It'll be available on Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific at DocSports.com. Go grab it and let's look to extend that Finals run to 46 and 25. As far as baseball, I've got two sides on Thursday led by a big six unit elite level game of the week and folks we don't have a lot of these we did have a five unit elite level play two days ago we cashed that we cashed over the weekend we passed on monday uh, we came back on tuesday had that elite level play uh, fell down a couple of units because we also had two other plays that day got right back yesterday with the winner on the cubs and now six unit play tops the two and oh thursday plays in baseball will be available 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific and i think you'll be very happy with this six unit play we've got on thursday again cash to six unit last night. Very nice for the bankroll. Also on Thursday, we're going to pass in the WNBA just one game. I'm sure we'll be back on Friday when we got four or five games to handicap and choose from. But I wanted to mention the CFL, everybody. We're 105 and 74 the last decade plus in the Great White North on their gridiron. 105 and 74. And week one starts on Thursday night with Saskatchewan and Hamilton tangling up and doing battle. All of my week one plays will be available on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, only at DocSports.com. We'll look to extend that 105 and 74 winning run in the CFL. And just a note, every week throughout the CFL season, my CFL picks for that week will be available at that time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, every Thursday throughout the season. So go check that out. Don't miss out on the CFL in week one. All right, let's get to our NFL thumbnail sketch, and then we'll jump into our free pick. We open up the NFC South with the Atlanta Falcons. Over under wins total eight and a half. Listen, I like what they did in the offseason up front on the offensive line. They were terrible in pass blocking. They were terrible in run blocking last year. It's amazing that Matt Ryan put up the numbers he did when you consider he was sacked 42 times in 2018. They also couldn't run the football, and I think they finished 24th or 25th in the league on the ground. Here's what they did in the offseason. And they signed a couple of new offensive linemen. And in the draft, right out of the blocks, they got two more offensive linemen. There's a good chance, if all goes as planned, that the Atlanta Falcons on offensive line will have 60% new faces up front. And that is a good thing if you consider what happened last year to the Falcons on offense. I like the weapons. You got Freeman back. You got the offensive line, which should be better. And Matty Ryan can still fire that football on target to anybody anywhere on the field when he's got a little bit of time. So I think the offense is going to be fine. 
fine for the most part. Defensively, I'd like to see an, an edge rusher uh, be able to put consistent pressure on opposing quarterbacks and get to the opposing quarterbacks once in a while. I still don't believe they have an edge rusher who can do that on a consistent basis. Defense will be okay, nothing special, but I think they'll be decent. Then there's that schedule to talk about, folks, and I gotta put on the glasses here because I wanna make sure I get all of these for you when I'm rel relaying all this info. It could be a killer if things get off to a tough start. They're at Minnesota, as you know, in week one. Then home against Philly, at Indianapolis, home Tennessee, at Houston. They get a potential break after Houston by playing at Arizona, but be sure not to look ahead if you're this Atlanta Falcons football team because they have the Rams at home next. Don't look ahead to the Rams or you might get bit in the rear end at Arizona. They've got the Rams, as I mentioned, at home after that. Home game against Seattle. That's all before the bye week. They follow the bye with road games right off the bye at Seattle, at Carolina. This is a difficult schedule, no doubt. Here's the thing, though. If this offensive line gels and becomes even better, and listen, I think it's going to be better uh, than it was last year, uh, almost basically by process of elimination of some of the people they had up front last year and who's going to replace them this year. I think they win nine games. The over-under is eight and a half. Now, that's not a big enough separation from the over-under wins total to make a play yet, but they are an opinion. We're that close uh, to, to, to making or to adding the Atlanta Falcons to our card as far as our over-under win plays. If we do later this summer, as we get closer to August and preseason football, we'll let you know on these videos that very same day. Right now, an opinion on the over. We think they're a nine-win team, the Atlanta Falcons, and uh, that's our thought on this year's Falcons. They'll be better than last year. Remember, they were four and nine, I think it was, after 13 games before they closed with three wins. But again, about nine wins for the Falcons. Over-under wins totals eight and a half, an opinion on Atlanta over. Our next team we're going to look at of the NFC South will be the Carolina Panthers, and that'll likely be on Saturday's video update. All right, free pick in a second. Again, recapping what we got going on on Thursday. Two baseball sides led by a big six-unit elite level game of the week, available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, DocSports.com. We'll also be involved in the CFL, our week one plays. All of them will be available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, again, at DocSports.com. And of course, NBA Finals Game 6, the side slam dunk rated play Raptors Warriors it'll be available 11 excuse me 1 p.m. Eastern 10 a.m. Pacific Doc Sports Dot com. So four big plays, premium picks on Thursday slate for us over at Doc Sports. All right, let's get to our free pick for Thursday. It is a baseball clash with the Rockies hosting the Padres. Your pitching matchup there, John Gray for Colorado. And Stram's going to return to the rotation for the Padres in this particular game. Here's the thing about this contest. John Gray has been phenomenal against the Padres. 17 times he started against them in his career. He's got a 2.7 ERA. And while you say, okay, the lineup's changed over the last couple of years for the Padres. Yes, it has. But check out John Gray's list of starts this season. You'll see he's already slammed the door of the Padres twice this season. So he just continues to pitch well against the Friars. He's great at home. I mean, the numbers at home, his whip being as good as it is, and ER, I think his whip's 1.23. His ERA is three at Coors Field. Virtually unheard of the way he's pitching at Coors Field. As far as Stram's concerned, good pitcher. He last pitched on June 2nd, so he wasn't sidelined for very long, but I don't think he's going to get enough run support because the Padres are not good in the situation they're in right now when it comes to run scoring on the road. So, it graze the play here, Colorado. Yesterday we went against the Rockies with our premium pick, as I mentioned. We cashed with the Cubs. They snapped that 10-game home win streak. Hey, listen, we love the pitching advantage for the Cubbies in that one. We don't like the pitching advantage against Colorado here. In in fact, we like the advantage with John Gray on the mound. So the Colorado Rockies will be your free play on Thursday's Diamond Slate. All right, that's going to do it for us for Thursday's video. Listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. You know the drill. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.